Hey guys, Shubhraj here and I'm back with another video. So today I'm bringing you the in-depth review of the FGN Fujijan guitars J Standard Iliad series T-style guitar that I received from Furtado's a little while back. So uh, for like what the last week or two I've been just playing around with this guitar. I played it at all my gigs. Been playing it during my classes also and just like in general you know playing around with it even in my free time and I've really grown to like it I mean I liked it when I received it uh, but this is definitely the first T-style guitar that I've had with me uh, especially a T-style that has fairly vintage specs which I'll get to in a little bit so yeah let's get into it we're gonna start with the gig bag this gig bag is a really nice one uh, so this is exactly how i've been carrying it in fact whatever you see in the gig bag is what i've been carrying to the gigs apart from my amp of course so this place uh, this particular pocket is big enough for my uh, it's got a guitar stand in it my cable in it as well as my uh, surge protector and I keep my amp cable in that as well and I I can also fit in my iPad in there so it, it is like quite a big pocket and up here is where I keep my what did I keep here yeah I keep like a cloth for cleaning the fretboard and the strings I uh, have my tuner and my capo got my strap and I got a little phone stand for handy situations you know when you don't get a music stand and then you have to work with a stool to keep your phone for the courtyards etc anyway so yeah the back straps are really good when you are wearing this guitar on your back the instrument feels like it's in safe hands for sure and it's a pretty comfortable gig bag to carry it's not too heavy, it's not too bulky at all. I mean, it's not bulky at all, as you can see. It's not at all very bulky. You just literally just put it on your back, walk around with it, you'll be comfortable. And rest assured, your guitar is not falling back on you. So, yeah. Now, as far as the insides of this case is concerned, here, uh, So you got like a very thin lining of padding over here and the padding here as well and all over uh, it's, it's pretty decent padding you know um, it's a pretty decent gig bag that's very easy to live with uh, you don't want to be throwing this around though uh, definitely don't do that but it's it's going to keep your instruments safe uh, as long as you don't throw it around so it's got a little neck uh, strap kind of a thing just to keep your guitar in place and let's take out the guitar now so this is the FGN J standard Iliad series um, let's start with the exact name uh, the naming of FGN guitars is a little intense so this particular one is named J I L 2 A S H M so essentially J standard Iliad series 2 ash with maple okay pretty intense <laughs> naming but regardless so the construction it's a, a bolt on neck then you got an ash body um, you got a maple u-shaped neck very comfortable neck to play by the way it's a it's not at all a glossy finish, it's a really smooth um, matte kind of finish which is really nice to touch and really nice to move around with. Um, then you got 25.5 inch scale length, you got 22 medium CFS frets, so that's the circular fretting system. Now um, there are a lot of questions about the circular fretting system. Somebody. Uh, asked me on my Facebook as well and I haven't replied to it yet mostly because I wanted to really feel it out myself first so um, based on these last two weeks of playing this guitar what I've realized is that the circular fretting system does make a difference 
so i have not set up this guitar at all since i've received it um it's exactly the way it came and um, the intonation was slightly off maybe but then when you're playing it it does not feel like the intonations of you know like whenever i played live it did not sound like the guitar was a little out of tune you know so yeah uh but i i can say that when i'm bending notes the bends are a lot smoother and i'm guessing that's partly because of firstly the fretwork i mean just look at that fretwork there really good fretwork and the second thing is probably going to be because of that cfs fret so the circular fretting system is essentially the frets being installed at a very subtle curve you know the frets have a very subtle curve to it and what that's supposed to do is make sure that all of the strings are touching the fretboard at a 90 degree angle which increases articulation intonation etc when it comes to your dynamics this guitar gives you quite a bit of dynamic headroom okay tuners are goto sd9105m in simple words vintage style goto tuners these are non locking uh, but really really good tuners super smooth you don't have to worry about your tuning falling off at all next bridge is an fgn fjil 3 ss dd again in simple words vintage style tele bridge you know there uh um, pretty pretty chill bridge you know like it does the job pretty well there's quite a you know, bit of sustain it is pretty easy to intonate this so yeah even though like i said i haven't set it up yet but this guitar is really easy to set up it's not at all a hard job to set up this guitar next hardware color is chrome and nickel now the pickups i really like these pickups so these are both simo duncans the neck pickup is a simo duncan str1 and the bridge pickup is a simo duncan vintage 54 tele stl1 everything is 12 o'clock on the amp and i'm going to start with the neck pickup <laughs> pickup switch is a four way lever so i'm going to go to the next position so that will be second position so that's supposed to be the two pickups in series okay so pickup position is the third position i'm calling it the third cuz i'm starting from neck and this is again both the pickups but in parallel so finally the bridge pickup that's position number 1 this pickup has got like a bit of a bite to it mm-hmm. 
Now let's hear it with a little bit of overdrive as well. So again we're gonna start from the neck pickup. <laughs> Next pick up position. Next one. And finally the bridge. So you can hear the sustain while I'm playing these notes, right? It's a really smooth instrument to play and a really well-made instrument more than anything. The fitting of the nut, the quality of the nut, the quality of the slot. Because see, slotting a nut requires good um, precision. This is good stuff right there. Um, yeah, I also like the little cutout on the truss rod area here. Um, it, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it just sort of makes it e a little easier to fit in the Allen wrench to sort of fix your trust rod a little bit. So yeah, man, great guitar. Love it. Now, on other things that I really like, string through body, so that adds to the sustain. This is a solid chunk of wood, but it's not super heavy. Even the neck, even though the specifications of this guitar is like uh, like a vintage 54 telly, the neck is not like a really thick neck, you know. It's actually a really comfortable neck. If you want to shred, you can shred your life out on this. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the specs. You got your tone knob. The tone knob works pretty nice. Um, let's say if I just bring it down. Everything was great. Now a little bit more about the guitar. The controls are one volume, one tone and four wheel lever like I just mentioned. Then you got a gloss body finish. The strings it comes with stock from the factory are Dear Dario EXL110. Tens, uh, a 10 gauge, so 10 to 46 gauge. It comes with original gig bag and it's available in two color so this particular one is the off-white blonde and you also have a two-tone sunburst okay they both look great so yeah that's pretty much it about this guitar i'm gonna be having it with me for a little while longer so i'm gonna be putting out more videos with this so stay tuned for more videos um if you like this video a subscribe to the channel would be highly appreciated and please also share it with everyone you know that helps the channel and uh, if you want to take private lessons with me, my details are below. If you want to buy this guitar, I will put a link to Furtado's website below in the description box. You can check it out there. Um, these are priced really well, especially considering that these are made in Japan. 
and you're getting really high quality craftsmanship and high quality uh, hardware on it amazing pricing now uh, yeah so like i said if you want to take private lessons with me hit me up i'm always game i teach online and offline if you're based in calcutta we can do offline if you're not based in calcutta and from any other part of india or out of out of india anywhere in the world we can always do online classes and um, yeah i teach the guitar as a solo instrument improvisation composition ear training music theory so anything and everything i know you know check out my other videos if you like my playing hit me up for lessons and yeah we'll have fun learning music so anyway i'm going to sign off right now i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching